Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate um, a different reversing gear for my miniature three-cylinder steam engine. This reversing gear is called the Modsley reversing gear and it uses uh, gears to, um, to change the rotation of the valve shaft with respect to the crankshaft to put the engine into reverse. I saw this uh, valve gear a number of years ago and I didn't really know what it was called. Um, so I did some research and uh, found out a little bit of information about it um, and I, I built a couple and they seem to work okay. Uh, I will demonstrate uh, the valve gear uh, running the engine on steam in, in a little bit in a later part of this video. Basically, the way the, um, the valve gear works is that you have uh, these two, two gears on the top, um, which are rotated uh, concentrically. Uh, the one on the right is on a little link that's uh, connected to the shaft of the crankshaft. And the one on the left is connected to the shaft of the uh, valve shaft. And when you move the lever, you see that if I hold the crankshaft uh, stationary, the, uh, the valve shaft rotates. So... For example, the engine in this position would be running in reverse, so if I put a couple little marks uh, and turn the, uh, turn the shaft, you can see that those black marks, how do you do that? And if I push the lever, into that position. Now they're um, 180, the valve shaft is 180 degrees from where it was before. So that puts the engine in reverse, so it would be turning in this direction. I'll hook the engine up to uh, my air supply and show that first. Okay, so I have about uh, 10 PSI of air pressure that I'm hooking up to the uh, engine here. That's reverse. And that's forward.
you'll notice that um, the gears are offset a little bit first of all so that the um, the crankshaft gear and the valve gear are not uh, are not making contact the crankshaft gear is set forward and then the the top gear is a little bit wider on the uh, on this mechanism right here so that I can go to this position where this this gear right here kind of goes behind the uh, the crankshaft gear and uh, I needed to do that to get enough rotation of this lever to um, to turn the valve shaft gear 180 degrees. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it seems like a movement of 60 degrees, about 60 degrees of the lever moves the valve gear, the 180 degrees uh, needed for reversing the engine. So this one is uh, connected to a small vertical boiler that runs on sternal. That just goes in the boiler like that. And this engine is set up with a um, little shaft coupler, the flywheels on the back side. Although these engines don't don't really even need a flywheel to run. They'll run without a flywheel. Um, the, the shifting gears on the top have to have an even number of gears, otherwise it won't work. So this one here has the two larger gears. And this is a variation right here using uh, much smaller gears. And this one has four gears on the top. And it has the fly, the engine has the flywheel on the front. But it does the same thing. It, it rotates the valve shaft with respect to the crankshaft, 180 degrees. Now I did an earlier version of a reversing gear, or reversing valve actually, uh, that, that uh, was a two-way valve that ran the steam through the engine backwards. And uh, that method I think works much better and it's certainly much easier to construct. Um, I had a lot of problems um, getting these these little tiny gears uh, spaced just right so they didn't bind or catch or whatever. Uh, they have to turn uh, very, very smoothly and uh, getting them uh, at the right spacing was uh, not, not an easy task. Um, also an advantage of the, uh, the other method with the two-way valve is that if you have the valve in a partial position, you can restrict, restrict the steam flow and actually control the, uh, the engine speed. Where this method right here, um, when you turn the lever, it just takes the engine out of timing so it doesn't run as good. It, it probably slows down a little bit, but it's not, uh, it's not a good method for speed controlled. Um, like the uh, two-way valve method. So um, with that, a uh, little bit of an explanation, I'm going to run a short video uh, showing the, this, this engine and boiler right here running on steam.